Thank you for taking the time to watch. My name is Jeffrey Katz, and I'm a Senior Finance Solution Architect with Western Computer. Welcome to part four of our four-part series on Workflow in Dynamics 365. Today, in part four, I'll be reviewing Purchase Order Workflow. In procurement and sourcing, there are 13 out-of-box workflow types. Today, I'll be focusing on Purchase Order Workflow. There is also nine out-of-box workflow elements that you can use when designing and configuring your workflow. Other features included are approximately 145 out-of-box workflows, an easy-to-use graphical user interface, drag-and-drop capabilities onto a workflow canvas, multiple ways to assign users for approval, email notifications so you know when it's your time to approve, as well as the ability to maintain different versions of the same workflow. On the right hand side, this is a sample process for purchase order workflow where the purchase order starts in a draft. Once submitted, it goes into a review. The person that's reviewing the purchase order can either reject it and it will go back to draft or approve it. Once the purchase order is fully approved, that's when you can go ahead and confirm it and go ahead and send it to your vendor. I'm now going to go into Dynamics 365 and open the workflow editor. I'm now in the workflow editor and on the left hand side are the workflow elements I mentioned earlier. In the center of the screen, this is the workflow canvas. Here I built out a purchase order workflow and I'm going to go ahead and walk through the steps here. When a purchase order is created and submitted to workflow, the first thing I have is a conditional statement. My conditional is a true false. If my purchase order is greater than $10,000, it's going to say it's a true and it's going to move over to the left side. If my purchase order is under $10,000, it's going to go to the right and come down to this approval. It only takes one approval at this point, and once it's approved, I am now able to go ahead and confirm my purchase order. Staying on the left-hand side, if it's over 10,000, I now have it hit a second conditional. This conditional is looking at whether the purchase order is less than $50,000. If it's less than 50,000, it's going to be a true statement. It's going to go to the left, and here it'll be needed for approval. If I click on this element for approval purposes and I go down one level, and I open up basic settings, and I go to my assignment, this is where I can assign a user, and these are the various ways, as also as mentioned earlier in the presentation. If I click on user, I have myself as a approver for this particular workflow, but I can always go ahead and select other users. And that's where our completion policy comes in. With our completion policy, we can set this to be a single approver, multiple approvers, all approvers. In this case, for this workflow, I just set it to single. We're going to go back up. After I would approve that purchase order, it now ends, and that purchase order is ready for confirmation. If that purchase order is greater than 50000 then our conditional would be set to false, and it's going to go to the right. And just like I showed you on the less than 50000 here we have an approver. If we go into the assignment area, the same that I showed you earlier is where, again, I can sign a user or multiple users with the same completion policy that you can set as a single or multiple or all. Go back up. Now, if I wanted to have a second approver on all my purchase orders that are greater than 50,000, I could easily do that. I can remove my workflow arrow I'm going to come up here and drag another element onto my workflow canvas. From here, I'll drag my arrows and then down to the completion. So now, after it's approved once here, it would then require a second approval. Once that second approval is completed, then the purchase order would be ready for confirmation.
Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on Western Computers video releases surrounding Soft Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. Have a great day.